Okay, it says, do these data suggest there is a significant difference in calories between servings of strawberry and vanilla yogurt? Test an appropriate hypothesis and state your conclusion. Don't forget to check assumptions and conditions. Remember any outliers before, remove any outliers performing, before performing the test. Okay, so I'm going to co copy this data to my table, into um, my Excel spreadsheet. And I've just got a blank one that I'm going to put it in here. And so uh, we're com it looks like we're comparing strawberry and vanilla. So we want to look at the um, difference here. So I think we want to compare the strawberry and the vanilla. So we we'll look at the difference. And that's going to be equal to the strawberry minus the vanilla in the different brands. And we'll look at that difference right there. Okay, and we're going to need to get the average and the standard deviation. And, um, you know, we probably are going to want to remove this 70 because that is a huge outlier because it told us to remove that one. So I can just come in here and delete that one out, which is probably going to be a good idea. Now, this is going to change our sample size, so this is going to be 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. All right, so our mean is going to be equal to the average of these numbers. And then the standard deviation is um, here, standard deviation. And we'll take these numbers in. So now we have our mean and our standard deviation. So I've just got that ready to go for a second. Um, the, the null hypothesis is always that there is no difference, so it's one of these two. And the question is, um, is there a difference? So the, the, the answer would be just, is there a difference? That's our alternative hypothesis. Now it says, compute the test statistic, strawberry minus vanilla, as the difference. All right, so here's my mean, which I'm going to copy. I'm going to put this into my uh, one sample t-test. So let me find that sheet, and I'm going to paste it right there. Paste that. Oh, it didn't like it. Okay, so let me, um, what I have to do is I have to grab just the number. So there's a way to do that. It's called, I think it's called paste value. Paste value. That's what I need to do. Okay, and then I'll go back, and then I'll get this number, and I'm going to copy it. That's the standard deviation. And then I'll go back in here to the one sample T for the mean, and then I'll do that paste value, uh, which is this one. So it remembers the number. And the sample size, there were, it turned out to be, um, I think it was 11 because we dropped that one out. All right. And let's get our T statistic then is negative 1.10. Seven. Okay, and then the p-value for not equal is this, and notice your null is zero, which we already put in there, is 0.294. Uh, four decimal places, 0.2944. And then um, that's a pretty large p-value, so we are going to not reject because the p-value is greater than uh, 0.05. So there is not evidence to suggest a difference. Are there any concerns about the assumptions and conditions? I think, do we know about randomization? We don't really know about randomization. Um, I would say there is an outlier, even without the outlier distribution, it's not normal, and the 10% condition, uh, I guess that's one. Uh, yeah, if you look at your data, it didn't look, it doesn't look very normal if you look at a histogram, and we don't know how many different calories there are, but this is a lot. There may be not many, not that many brands of yogurt. I mean, are we looking at yogurt? Yeah, and so this could be more than 10%, so that could give you a problem.